Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel Explore Edu to T. So today we'll be learning about a problem of CTFT that is continuous time Fourier transform. Already a previous lecture is uploaded on my YouTube channel on CTFT basics. If you haven't watched that video, please go and watch it out. It is present in the i button as well as in the signal and system playlist of my YouTube channel. Please go and watch it out. There I have explained all the basics of CTFT that is the continuous time Fourier transform. All the formulae over there. On basis of this formulae, we will be solving a numerical over here. Then we will be seeing certain properties of CTFT. We will be trying to apply that property onto a problem which was asked in gate, gate examination. And then finally, we are going to learn about rectangular signal, triangular signal and trying to again apply it in the form of a numerical. So uh, please go and watch out that particular video which includes the CTFT basics and then come to this video in order to understand uh, how to apply those basics that we have learned onto the numericals. So the question says find CTFT of e raised to 3 e raised to minus 3 mod t u of t which is my signal. They are telling you to find out the CTFT that is the continuous time Fourier transform which is given as x of omega. So x of omega is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity x of t e raised to minus j omega t dt. x of omega now in place of your x of t you need to put e raised to minus 3 mod t u of t. So if I just put from minus infinity to 0 e raised to minus 3 into minus t will be e raised to 3t e raised to minus j omega t dt plus integration 0 to infinity will include straight away e raised to minus 3 t will be positive over here hence e raised to minus 3t e raised to minus j omega t dt so i hope i am very clear how have i classified this x of t from minus infinity to 0 and from 0 to infinity from minus infinity to 0 we will have e raised to minus 3 and t will be given as minus t hence you will have e raised to 3t and from 0 to infinity we will have t as uh, mod t as t itself hence we have e raised to minus 3t and then we will try to apply this onto the particular numerical that is integration minus infinity to 0 e raised to 3 minus j omega t dt plus integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus of 3 plus j omega t dt so what we are going to do is that let us apply integration over here that is e raised to 3 minus j omega t uh, j omega the whole t upon 3 minus j omega and the limits go from minus infinity to 0 plus e raised to minus of 3 plus j omega t should be coming over here the t is missing over here please make a note of it upon minus of 3 plus j omega limits go from 0 to infinity. So just apply the limits, you will get the final answer as 6 upon 9 plus omega square. So I hope I am very clear with this. So what does the question say is that uh, x of t was given to you as e raised to minus 3 mod t u of t. You have to find out the CTFT that is the continuous time Fourier transform for this particular numerical. So we are first of all writing this e raised to minus 3 mod t from minus infinity to 0 and 0 to infinity as e raised to 3t and e raised to minus 3t. Just apply uh, the integration formula, apply the limits and you will get the final answer over here. So I hope I am very clear with this. Next. So let us understand few properties of CTFT and then apply this property onto a numerical. So what does the property say? You know that x of t corresponds to x of omega in terms of CTFT. So if I differentiate x of t for n times, the CTFT will be j, j omega raised to n x of omega. Similarly, x of t corresponds to x of omega. If I integrate from minus infinity to t x of t, I get x of omega by j omega. Similarly, e raised to minus pi t square is equal to e raised to minus pi f square. So we have a numerical over here. We will try to see how do we apply the properties that we learned over here onto this numerical. Okay. So just pay attention. We have integration minus infinity to infinity g of t e raised to minus g omega t dt 
given as omega into e raised to minus 2 omega square y of t given as integration minus infinity to t g of tau d tau and then your integration minus infinity to infinity y of tau d tau as question mark. So if you see integration minus infinity to infinity g of t e raised to minus of j omega t dt is nothing else than g omega itself right g omega will be equal to integration minus infinity to infinity g of t e raised to minus g omega t dt by formula which is given as this in the question. Now they are telling you the next step y of t is equal to integration minus infinity to t what g of tau d tau. So if I apply the CTFT over here, I have y of omega is equal to g of omega by g omega. I hope I am very clear. y of t is given as integration minus infinity to infinity g of tau d tau. Hence y of omega is given as g of omega by g omega. g of omega is given as this. So just substitute over here and try to find out this answer. How do you get this formula that integration minus infinity root t g of tau d tau is equal to g of omega upon g omega from this property over here. So when you have integration from minus infinity root t the CTFT is given as x of omega by g omega. So similarly we have y of omega over here. Now y of omega you know the formula says integration minus infinity y of t e raised to minus g omega t dt if i put my value of omega as 0 i get y of 0 is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity y of tau d tau so my question said to find out this value itself and this value corresponds to nothing else than y of omega where omega is equal to 0 y of omega is something that we already have over here and hence we are just going to put the value of omega as 0 and try to find out the answer. So I hope I am very clear with this. So it is just the application of this particular formula onto the numerical. So please download the notes which are present down in the description box of this particular video. You will be able to understand more on how to apply this formula, these properties onto the numerical. Next very important concept is the understanding of rectangular signal and triangular signal that is very 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 important so you should understand the meaning of rectangular signal you should understand the meaning of triangular signal and then you can apply it on to the numerical so we have a rectangular signal whose representation is given as a rectangular of tau t by tau so it's a rectangular of t by tau so a is the amplitude rectangular signal is given as this and tau is basically minus of tau by 2 minus of tau by 2. If you just put this entire duration, it is given as tau. Similarly, a triangular signal is represented as a triangular of t by tau, where a is my amplitude. It is missing over here. a should be over here. And here, unlike the rectangular signal, wherein it covers just tau by 2, here it is tau. So it is from 0 to tau and 0 to minus tau. I hope I am very clear with this. So let's try to see it. what is going to be the Fourier transform of a rectangular signal and triangular signal. A rectangular signal is given as a rectangle of t by tau is given as a tau sinc of omega by 2 pi into tau and a triangular of t by tau is equal to a tau sinc square of omega by 2 pi into tau. So let's try to see it onto a numerical. How do we apply? The x of t is given as 1 where t goes from minus infinity to in, uh, from minus 1 to 1. Find out x of omega. So we can always represent this x of t onto a rectangular signal. So what does it say? It is having a constant amplitude 1 and going from minus 1 to 1. So how do I represent the x of t over here? It is given as a which is 1 rectangular of t by tau. Now you know this one represents tau by 2 in case of rectangular. So I just put tau by 2 as 1 hence my tau becomes equal to 2 hence my representation is given as 1 a rectangular of t by tau wherein my tau is equal to 2 how do i get that 2 because this 1 represents tau by 2 now you have to find out the fourier transform of it 
So what is the Fourier transform of a rectangle of t by tau? It's given as a tau sin of omega by 2 pi into tau. So you have a tau that is 1 into 2 sin of omega by 2 pi into tau. Tau is 2 and this is my final value. So this is the way in which you can just try to represent a given signal in the rectangular form and this rectangular signal can be then represented in the form of simply a sync signal by the formula. So in this numeric, so in this particular video, I have brought you across the application of CTFT onto a numerical. Then what are the properties, uh, the very important properties of CTFT and how to apply these properties onto numerical. And finally, we have a particular rectangular and triangular signal, which are special signals in signal systems and how and what are these Fourier transform and how to apply it in the form of a numerical. So I hope I'm very clear to you. If you have any kind of doubts or comments, please comment in the comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and share it to as many people as you can who can get benefited out of it. Thank you so much. God bless you.